Let's play redactyl number 183 on Thursday, October 6th. And just to warn you, my cough is particularly ticklish today. So I'm not always able to hit the pause button in time, but I will try to, but just to forewarn you. Anyway, enough about that. Um, four words in the title. Oh, and it has, interesting, a five-letter acronym. Or is that an acronym abbreviation, or is it some area? I'm thinking it's an acronym. Was an 1312 for 107 in 947 by the 9410? Oh my goodness, are the 64? And then comma the 11. So a very long and complicated first sentence. The 6, 11 of 5 was something that looks like a date. Um, so what's the 11 letter verb? was discovered, was launched, was something in, oh, in some city and some country, I suppose. Seven comma eight. The twelve, twelve was four in seven. Well, I'm um, at a loss to understand what area this might be in. Let's scroll down and just look for some plain words that have not been redacted that might give us a clue. I'm not seeing... And, oh, we do have, I guess, U.S. What is that 11 letter after U.S.? It's an unusual start to this sentence. Four, but three, five, comma. I'm wondering if the three might be not. It is something, but not later. No, we do have two laters, though. The U.S. upon 1094 to be a 78. Hmm. And three and three. No. We have some percentages on the United States and Kingdom. Uh, New Zealand, maybe? Ah, there we go. Um, Australia? France? What are the eights? And what do these uh, countries have in common. Oh, I wonder, are they members of some world body? No, we do have three members. 
Um, this looks like another date. What's a four letter month? June or July? After some members, some something in this. Okay. Let's go past that list. Um, I wonder if something was forced to. No, no forced. Ah, that's the first miss I've had. I wonder if the five could be China, Japan, Uh, what's nine China? Not democratic. In uh, southeast, southwest. Okay, let's try west. Yeah, southwest China. And then the last China. Ah, uh, you know. Ooh. Are these wars? No. Um, trade equals. Uh, that must be United States, South Korea. Uh, let's try war. Nine wars. But no wars, plural. Uh, treaty. Aha. So what kind of treaties are these with eight letters? Uh, commerce. No. The military. Thirteen militaries. For the ten seven of the six states. Um, set up. Aha. Uh -huh. So I think the 12 might be organization. Uh huh. So it was and so it's past tense. Um, so not North Atlantic. Uh, did some members join the organization? Yes. Is it uh, these members or is it a count? Um, like eight? Oh, that was a lucky guess. Um, so, at a something of treaty, something in seven comma eight or so that's another eight letter country i'm wondering if the nine something like pan american or pan asian um pan something but what's the four letter i mean nato is just north atlantic right so well, let's try asia Oh, okay, so it is something Asia. And then I guess, oh, maybe it's South, Southeast Asia as one word. Yes. All right. So that was a pretty quick one today. Thank goodness with my uh, cough. I appreciate that. I hope you do too.
So of the seven games played so far, the mean guess count is 81. So a um, little bit fortunate, I think, to find those countries and then war and treaty. And then it sort of took care of itself. Um, ah, Bangkok, Thailand was the city and country. The origins, membership. Ah, the budget, so here's who contributed to it. Pakistan and Thailand were the eight-letter countries, as well as Philippines. Sito um, dissolved in 1977. Alrighty, well that's Redactal. Uh, thanks as always for watching and have a great day.